jump on and this is all going to go to plan today Dave, because um <laughs> clearly um seven, yeah seven minutes after plan seven minutes after plan i know which is oh man ridiculous. it's friday we don't have to obey by the rules of the tuesday tuning <laughs> is that what it is i can is. swear i can drink alcohol i can do whatever i want today it's friday brilliant brilliant oh yeah what, what is your beers mate it's know, christmas yeah, I know. um but hey everyone i hope all is well just waiting for people to join us because i appreciate and a uh, huge apologies for this afternoon we're running a little bit behind schedule three days behind schedule that uh, actually this is on a friday not a tuesday it's our first tuesday tuning on a friday yeah we have to think of a new name like friday feast your eyes friday feast... wow dude that's, friday that's, that's quite good actually that's quite good friday watch along is that what it is <laughs> i don't know but yeah um it'd be great to see who is on this friday and appreciate that everyone can make it today but we wanted to do one before christmas because we've um, we've been away on business the last few days and we really wanted to, to to sort of finish off the year uh <laughs> i know bry i know it wouldn't be a tune if the yetis weren't running late i know apologies um yeah it's been been a been a mad uh morning uh, mm. a few meetings and some tech issues um yeah around uh the uh, yeti yuletide dunk challenge we've got had some video conversion issues it's quite a big file uh, we're still working on it in the background we're hopeful that it might be with done the, with the, the traffic call that's, that's that's called um uh, 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 vlc media player. Oh, yeah, nice. uh, essentially we're trying to uh, convert it so we can show it to you guys because i really want to show it. if we don't uh and i know we said we're going to show it today what we'll do is we'll upload it into the rosie uh, group. will have your balls i know she will <laughs> don't know. Uh, unfortunately it's um it's yeah it, it is what it is, it and, is, what it is. Uh, with the video it, should, it might be too big to bring it onto this streaming platform unfortunately uh, so yeah it's uh it's, it's it's quite interesting but anyway we wanted to just talk about what's been actually like an unbelievable year um 2022 mm. has been like a, you know a special year in many ways it's also been challenging in other ways mm. but it's been amazing for us hasn't it dave i mean absolutely amazing yeah yeah it's been absolutely <laughs> amazing yeah i mean it's great <laughs> i actually got some sleep in april which is really cool did you in so, april? yeah not in april yeah, i had some sleep just before the start of the season <laughs> um but no no it's been um yeah it's been, a, it's been a it's been an amazing year every year i have this feeling like i think like that was a big year like i don't think we'll top it and then you have a couple of weeks off you refresh you come back in and the next year is always yeah. bigger so yeah. i'm actually a little bit scared of 2023 <laughs> but um but 2022 no it's, been, it's been epic um you it's know it's been amazing i mean first ever cl uh, climbs in ecuador yeah I, I, yeah i suppose yeah let's go through yeah the big ones yeah first you have the first summits in Ecuador. Yeah. We have most ever people reaching the top of Kilimanjaro. Yeah. I don't know what the official success rate is, but I think it's above 95%. No, we looked at it, didn't we? I think it was um it was 98 point something. Um we looked at there was over a hundred and seventy people on the summit killing, which is absolutely nuts. Yeah. Um you know, we had this year we've literally had over nine hundred people trek in the pool which is absolutely amazing yeah um, about 90 percent of them reaching everest base camp obviously more than um that. which is yeah, more than 90%. yeah no but 90 percent of the the trekkers in the pool go into everest oh yeah yeah it's not just see what you mean not the no, not reaching rate. not, re not reaching yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah sorry Dave um but yeah absolutely amazing so honestly like that alone has been absolutely amazing we've also had our first customers go out to Machu Picchu um we did have obviously previous uh previous years done Tupacal but again, we've had more people on in Morocco than biggest than, than we've had before. Most people in Morocco, most people in Nepal, yeah. most people in Tanzania, most people in South America. So I think um, you, you could definitely say we've, we've got back to adventure this year. Uh, that's That's been um, a real proud moment, I think, after what was a really challenging couple of years. Uh, yeah. with no, obviously, and it was amazing to develop the business in those two years. 2020 2021 but the number of people on trips obviously was, was significantly low yeah so you know that's what we do right we're, we're a trekking company we're adventure company we want to take people on these adventures so this year was like absolutely amazing and yeah and why we exist um <laughs> Bry's bringing all of it in today what could possibly go wrong in 2023 Dave uh I'm actually <laughs> I, I'm actually on holiday when Brian's in Tanzania is that what it is um, oh my god yeah I'm, I'm gonna make sure of that fact <laughs> but um brilliant brilliant yeah no um yeah epic year epic year nepal was just absolutely off the charts oh, it was great though wasn't so it so many island many, peaks on it as well so many island peaks we yeah. have mara peaks we have people going to annapurna we launched langtang yeah that was a special but that was the special. one that really 
does stick in the forefront of my brain. No, we still like it. Ignore that. Yeah, ignore that. Is that <laughs> um, EBC this year was absolutely off the charts. Yes. Spring and autumn combined was the biggest yeah. we've ever done. I think we had more people in spring and autumn this year than we have had across all trips combined yeah, you, you, previously. Suppose, yeah, that'd be interesting actually to look at those numbers because we've, yeah. Um, yeah, like in terms of active ever trekkers, we've got over three and a half thousand, which is absolutely amazing, um, you know, which is across all of our trips. Looking forward to the future. That's a lot of adventure. Yeah. Uh, and some of those people are booked in more than three or more trips, which is like such a special thing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as we as we creep towards Christmas and, you know, come into all the, you know, like like tonight, we've got the um, the Yetis kind of Christmas party tonight. And talking about Yetis, mm. we've got three Yetis on the live at the moment. We've got Zach, we've got Vicky, we've got Lauren. They're, they're missing, you know, they're off for Christmas, but they can't help but join yeah the friday tune in. does that mean lauren's actually on the questions is that what it is lauren are you on the questions today i think she's i think she's just <laughs> swore at us audibly yeah so today's one is going to be slicker and more professional than because, you've ever seen because we've got our phones, here, right? we've got our phones to check the questions oh, yeah, um, but me and you are going to have to muddle through it's fine but uh, there hasn't been any questions yet and although this is um what i would say more of a uh, christmas special to the casual to the cause, to the cause. <laughs> casual I need I need better ones. You obviously, sure those glasses are working. I was thinking, in America. I thought it said dedication to the casual, and I was thinking that's that in a way though. Sorry, Mark, but you kind of uh, you've hit on something inadvertently. That, that sums up the Tuesday tune in. It does. We're incredibly dedicated. That we came in on Friday to keep it casual. <laughs> I always work Fridays anyway. <laughs> yeah, Dave doesn't. Well, actually, you you work probably seven days a week. Hang oh. on one <laughs> pick a minute, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Freudian slip. Yeah, um, no, it's hundred percent dedication to the cause. Doesn't doesn't just happen on Fridays, does it? No, do, well, it depends. Like sometimes I have a Friday off. Sometimes during the Nepal season, for instance, you don't. I wake up at around five a.m. I go to bed at around four a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm working all the, all the time. But no, honestly, Nepal this year is the one that absolutely sticks out in my mind because. We had a tricky start to the autumn, so, so you know, yeah, that's fine. Crack on. No, no, no. It's a uh, um, Zach's trying to sort the video out in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is dedicated. You can talk to him on here though. <laughs> I can see oh, he's on. I can see. Zach, he's on. sort this. Oh no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. The dedication Sorry. to every single one of you guys yeah. that went out to EBC this year, particularly yes. the epicness of the uh, the autumn one. Um, with the weather with challenges. The, yeah, the, the weather big challenges, weather challenges like and worst we've ever seen. Everything that went on. Um, yeah, absolutely yeah. amazing that the Ever Trekkers actually persevered, stuck through, reached their goal of EBC, yeah. and have that in the bank. Um, everyone that's booked on a trip and everything like that that's going next year. Yeah. Um, I see Tina Barra, and I think Tina, how you doing? I think Tina and three others are going to Annapurna. I um, I think at the moment it's just Tina and Karen. I believe. I thought it was a few others. Oh, okay, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe they've had other people book on. Um, whatever it is, you have an awesome time. Enjoy it, guys. Enjoy it. It's going to be a real special. Karen's going to, um, apparently, her goal is to, she wants to beat me in tattoo count. So, um, <laughs> I, I, yeah. Got, she, uh, knowing Karen, I know we've um, we've obviously seen each other a, a few times, um, but you've got some catching up to do. Yeah. Yeah. But she's but what she said is, though, it's, it's mutually beneficial because she's only going to get her tattoos on trips she's booked to Nepal. I see. So to catch up with me, she's, she's got to go on about she, several hundred she's trips. She's going to do several hundred trips, yeah. Because what is it that um, someone said to you before? Uh, you've got more tattoos than a Mexican cartel. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something Mexican, like that, wasn't uh, it? I, I think it was Lauren. <laughs> was it Lauren? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lauren wrote a blog. That's be, right. Because there was, there's always been confusion. Yeah. I get called Andy. You get, well, you don't get called Dave. I just get called Andy. I do get called Dave previously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And many times, yeah. I was going to get a t-shirt, remember, that said, not Andy. And an arrow <laughs> pointing up. But, um, that, is, but then, right, that is it. Lauren wrote a blog Christmas present. about how to tell us apart. And I think Lauren said that I've got more tattoos than a Mexican prisoner or a Mexican right, yeah, drug yeah. cartel leader or something like that. Anyway, Lauren, what did you what did you refer to me as so eloquently? And 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 yeah, yeah. Well, she's on the live. She can put some creative language on there. Uh, so, Dave, in this year's Yeti Awards, the winner of the favorite boots of the year goes to because you've tried a few this year. I, I've been. I, I've, I've tried been, a few this year. I, I, yeah, I'm a degenerate. Um, I'm gonna go with. <laughs> The Mandel Tonales. Really? 
Yeah. So we still get Mendel, but it's not the Bhutans. It's not the Bhutans. Wow, that's controversial, Dave. Oh uh, yeah, I tell you why. Because I ch I chop and change all the times, and yeah, yeah. and I actually went to Tupacal in the. I'll be honest, they weren't warm enough for the summit. My <laughs> feet were freezing on that summit. So if you go below minus ten uh, with wind, I would suggest different boots. However, they were great. No wearing in, light as you like, waterproof as you like. Yeah. And they served me on the summit with a set of B1, uh, C1 crampons. Brilliant. So, yeah, I got a lot of time from. I'll have to try them. I'll have to try them. It's because the, the ones that I'm particularly interested to use, especially right now with the cold, and um, was the uh, the yellow and red boots that you've got, which I think are... Uh, Las Sportiva Equilibrium. Yeah, they look brilliant. I, I, I really want to try them because they're so lightweight. They are light. They're tough plastic. Yeah. And um, I would say... Okay, here's what Lauren said, Joe, just to cut in from boots. Andy is the one with crazy curly hair styled from his favorite hobbit. Dave has darker hair and more tattoos than an incarcerated gang member. He's also a lot lovelier than a gang member, too. Is, is that the copy from the website? That's, that's that, brilliant. I think, that is, that's I think it, Google's yeah. going to like that. Curly hair, it's not that curly at the moment. But yeah, yeah, I, okay, I can, I, can, I can go with that. That's another thing I think maybe the guys don't know is you cut your own hair, right? Yeah. He cuts his own hair. Well, I think I... You know, it, it started. I, I do and sometimes you, go and you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't be able to tell at all. Um, luckily, it hasn't got a style to it, <laughs> so it's fine. But um, yeah, that started during my backpacking days. And I think over the years, I've just because uh, I used to have a lot of creative hairstyles back in the day. Um, some of it was quite long and hairy. Um, nowadays, it's a lot easier to manage. So yeah, I, I kind of just do it myself, especially during COVID. It was easy. Yeah. Was like, yeah. You offered to cut my hair, didn't you? And you refused. Yep. I did. Gutted. Gutted. I refused for <laughs> for my own safety. <laughs> but um, uh, Marky V though has a good point actually because if we're talking about Yeti Awards or Boots of the Year, what other ones could we do like that? What would you um, say? This is a controversial one, and this is I'm going to actually put this out to people on here. What has been everyone's moment of the year? Um, one thing that will stay with you forever. Put in the comments about the, you know, what has been your moment that will last from 2022 could be on this tuesday tune in i'm hopeful it's uh, on a mountain somewhere mm. but yeah it'd be interesting to see what everyone's favorite moment because i know a lot of you have been on lots of different trips but if there was one moment that really stood out for you in 2022 that you'll remember forever put it in the comments um <laughs> i think uh, joel with the comment uh, joel what's yeah. going wow Shade. right in the balls mate. but uh, that's okay that's okay uh zach doesn't cut his hair he thinks that it's <laughs> that's his strength Brilliant, brilliant. I know it's like um, when he when he lost um, when he lost the uh, uh, what was it all of his hair? Um, yeah, it was absolutely like like Rapunzel. So much hair. Yeah, no. Well, it was like hiring a new employee when he walked in. Yeah. What, what I love about <laughs> Zach though was when when he when I first met Zach. Yeah. He was always dressed to the nines. You know, he'd wear a waistcoat yeah. casually. That's right. I admired that. I think I have a recollection of him wearing a dicky bow casually. Always yeah. dressed in smart trousers, brogues. And I think within two weeks of Evertrack, he came in with jeans, flip-flops, and a hoodie. I know. It and almost promoted him to the North Face t-shirts. I've never <laughs> been so proud, you were proud of my of influence you know, on someone. I thought, you know what? That's amazing. To be fair, my moment of 2022, reaching the summit of Tupacal with Zach. That's, was it? Was that's, it? That's my moment. Is that your moment of the year? I, because it goes, for me, and I've yeah. written a little bit about this, because yeah. you always force me to do this. <laughs> I think Jane's very sad. Is that sad about his haircut? Oh. Or, or the fact that we've influenced his casual I know. His casual, <laughs> sorry, his Jane. We, we bringing him down to Yeti standards, you know? Jane was like, very he sorry was about my that. smartest and well-dressed <laughs> son. And now you've just <laughs> obliterated him. He looks like a scruffy surfer. I don't think you can ever call that scruffy. But, no, yeah. no, no, no. But, um, yeah, I think because it brought home a cup. I've had some, I've had some real thinking time to do about mountains and trekking and what it means and stuff like that yeah and i've really decided that it, it's not about the height of the mountain it's not about how long the climb yeah it's about the moment where you are in your life yeah and what the mountain means to you at that time yeah and i figured this out because the first i've climbed higher mountains i've climbed longer mountains yeah. i've been hotter i've been colder i've been all of those things well maybe not colder but um, minus 25 with 70 mile an hour wind, it was pretty extreme. Sounds but anyway, nice. I climbed Tupacal in, well, a third of Tupacal in April. And I'll be honest with you, I left thinking I never want to go back. Really? Didn't feel well. I was sick of it. I was done with it. I was like, 
And for all those things I just said, yeah, yeah. I was like, why would I struggle so much if I'm a ma- I've been higher? I've done more. Mm. And then when I came back, I readjusted my brain because I, you know, I wasn't well and I, I realized that that's nothing to do with let's not blame Morocco for that. <laughs> Went back and climbed it with Zach and Jen. And I came back like completely yeah. different. And well, I realized, and, and when I got to the summit of Tupcal, I thought to myself, like, this is this is an achievement. Yeah. This is an achievement. Perhaps more so than when I summited Killy. You know, it was, I don't know, it felt special. Because well, of, mate, because yeah, of everything, you, everything that it took to get yeah, there. Yeah. You, well, the thing is, yeah, when you came back after the first time, and, you know, um, the, the numerous kind of blades that I put in, and we brought it up on the lives. But no, I mean, it, mm. but when you, when, I think when you achieve something that you've been working so hard to do, you become so close to it. Um, you know, it, it yeah, it, it, it's an amazing achievement. Yeah. So mate, it's great. Yeah, it's a great memory. I, I was trying to think about top moments for me, and there's some great, some lovely moments in here as well. And, and just to, to to read, obviously, Marcus B's moment of the year, death of the queen. I know that was a, a big moment for Britain, wasn't it? And and the world really. Um, yeah, not track related. That's all right, mate. I hope she went on her track as you're in the life. I, I think so. I, I've been watching oh, she, the crown. She was definitely quite outdoorsy. recently. She loved it. You know, we're like love or hate the queen. I don't know why anyone would hate the queen, but you know, some people have their opinions. I Served admire well. anyone who mm. says in their like early twenties or whatever that from now until the day I'll die, I'll serve the country as your yeah. queen. And she absolutely stuck by it, even though. Her son was probably nagging her on a daily basis to give it up. Woman. To give it up. You know, but <laughs> she didn't. It. And she stuck yeah. to it. And right enough, she worked right up to then. And I think, you know, I don't care about anything else. That, to me, just shows a dedication. Big and respect. A big respect for that, yeah. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, no, good point, Mark. You, you bring up a good one there. And, yeah, Richard, for me, is receiving my birthday cake at Ding Botching, getting blessed by the guides in April. Oh, mate, lovely. Well, great to, great to hear you celebrate your birthday up there. And I know a lot of people do. Um, and it's fantastic and yeah what, what better way than to do it on a trek eh? um tina and a pony base camp morag on a pony you know poker has studied yeah poker is amazing isn't it yeah, next to the poker. next to the lake it's absolutely amazing place stewart ah oh, mate it was great yeah your birthday on the brecon training weekend that was brilliant i think we all had a, probably a little bit too much beer that weekend but uh, it was great um stewart it was great to meet you and yeah the glencoe challenge for anyone who hasn't done that highly recommend it the worst bog it a few in their, times in their history it was, tough. it was tough this year wasn't it yeah that was really the tough the bog was hard oh it's great we got uh we got pete uh best moment 2022 get the base camp bass camp <laughs> uh ever uh, just want to say thanks oh mate just some lovely comments and thank you very much um yeah thanks pete means a lot means a lot mate um poon hill the non-view mark i know i know the weather the weather's been challenging this year mm. the big winds on tubcal the crazy snow I had in Peru, the, like the second time within like 15 years, the crazy September and October that we had in Nepal. Yeah. Like it's been, been a bug of weather this year, isn't it? Yeah. But that's, you know, that's, that happens, I suppose. You know. Weather is the only thing that sort of, uh, you know, throws a curveball. I've, n- I've never seen the view from the top of Snowden. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to imagine it today. I mean, like, yeah. looking at the clear skies, as I look out, we can see some snow while well, we got this. Um, little hill near us. You, you went up there just before you went to Tupcal, didn't you? I did, yeah. That was, training. that was another one, yeah. And um, Dive Fizz back, first time ah. I saw Everest, so emotional, definitely. Always ah. one that stuck in my mind. It is, isn't it? The, first, the I remember Ian, Ian Folly, one of our other trackers, has been around. I think um, he went on his first trip with us in 2017. Uh, was kind enough to do a little interview, and I remember his interview because he, he said the first time um, you know, he saw Everest, it brought a tear to his eye. And I think, I think because of the the work that goes into preparing to get to some moments like Diane, you know, she booked Everest base camp back in 2018. Um, you know, and at the end of 2022, she gets to see Everest for the first time, you know, that emotional connection that you've got plus yeah. the historic moment of Everest and what it means. And, you know, being in Nepal, such a spiritual place, it, 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 you know, it doesn't take much to, to make me cry <laughs> again, emotional, no. but there, there, there's certainly, I think that gets a lot of people, doesn't it? Yeah. I remember the first time I saw Everest, you know me, I didn't cry. <laughs> but yeah, I, I said this a few times. I was actually talking weirdly to Zach about it when we were in Tupcal and yeah, he was yeah. asking me, like, or we were discussing what his next trip would be. And I said, yeah. I said for a man like him, Everest Base Camp. I said, yeah. because yeah. it's always going to be my favorite because of the history. Yeah. But there's some, and this is something I didn't expect the first time I ever got went there was when you are, uh, is that an emergency call? No, no, it's like, yeah. Catch up. When you arrive in the 
Himalaya and yeah. you stand in front of those giant, like the biggest mountains in the world. And I'm not a particularly spiritual guy, as you know. Yeah, yeah. But I do feel like there's an energy from those things. Yeah, there is. There's there is. something, I get a feeling, like a vibration or a buzz in myself that when I'm walking around and I'm looking at the biggest mountains on earth and they're so vast, I do get it. And weirdly, yeah. the only other place I've ever kind of had it at the, I get it when I drive into Glencoe. Yeah, I do. I, Similar it's, feeling when I arrive in Glencoe. Such, such an amazing place, isn't it? You drive and, in and yeah, it's amazing. I know they're not anywhere near as big as the Himalaya. The Himalaya yeah. is like a 10. When yeah. I drive into Glencoe, it registers, <laughs> you know, but it's the same sort of feeling. I don't know what it is. As you're walking yeah. around those mountains, there's always a time in the EBC trip where I catch myself on my own, yeah, just trudging along. And then there's a weird moment where I can't see anyone in front of me or behind me. And then you could be the only person on the planet. It, honestly, Glencoe you know, is one of my favourite places in the world. I mean, yeah, it's not obviously Britain, Scotland's absolutely fantastic. I love Glencoe as well. Glencoe yeah. is um, is so beautiful. The sunrise on Kalapatar, our gym. I, I remember seeing your pictures earlier this year, mate. You you had some crackers on Kalapatar. Good on you as well. I know it's hard after doing base camp to get up there and in the cold and and get up there and and, and see Everest. I mean, yeah, the, the, the sunrise up there is epic. Yeah, good on you, Jim. Great memory, mate. And you know, it has. It's been a special year. And Henrietta, there, booking Everest Base Camp. You know, getting it in the diary. So important, Henrietta. And you know, yeah, you did the West Highland Way. Fantastic. Awesome. It's obviously, part of that's on the Glencoe Challenge. Um, uh, but yeah, doing the West Highland Way is is a big tick. I've I've not done the whole thing. I'd love to do it. It's on my bucket list. Um, yeah, can't wait to do it over the next few I years. Want to ride it on a mountain bike? Yeah, you would. Yeah, you, you, you should do it. Oh yeah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. You should do it. I reckon you. Yeah. You, how long would that take? It'd be quite quick, wouldn't it? I, uh, well, yeah, it depends how long you want to do it, but you could do it less than a week. I mean, dragging that bike up the devil's staircase would be, wouldn't be a barrel of that. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Stefan Hall's walking yep. the Tenzing and Hillary Trail on Route 3BC. Yep. Due to the ridiculous weather, it was an experience um, bolted onto an already epic experience. No matter how tough it was, I think we're all quite yeah. fortunate to have the chance to walk that hill. That, I agree. Exactly. So that's why EBC will always, the classic EBC route will always be be like have a special place in my heart because you can't help but yeah. feel that when you're in the area and um yeah 100 percent. i know john would come back in i'll sign up for the mtv ride he, he anything about a mountain bike john right the great bald yeah he, he is up for it <laughs> um yeah as, as people were putting in there about yeah moments of the year i think i, I was trying to think back to what mine would be i mean there's been so many i i loved like tube cal was special Definitely, like the first time I did it. But I think, yeah, was, I'm trying to think what, what would be, uh, Matt, getting Machu Picchu was fantastic, doing that. Did you go to Machu Picchu? I don't remember going there with you. You didn't, unfortunately. Oh, I know, where was I? Sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, mate, sorry. Fair, fair, fair. Um, no, getting to Machu Picchu was quite special, um, and just going out there and seeing the Andes for the, the very first time, um, doing that was special. But I think if I was really, you know, the, yeah, the moments, it'd have to be the fact that we're just back doing some traveling and I think that's not one particular moment but that's like you know as a trekking company that's built to create it to help people mm. um and you know the, around the community especially getting getting you guys on trips like that's that has to be my moment of the year because it's you know very proud of that you know there's I know you see obviously a lot from from our from the views but you know a lot goes on in the in, in, in the background and um it's been a crazy year like you know we've had ups and downs like any journey right um it's been amazing um been special and yeah we've uh, you know that that really is i spent 22 in, in itself has been amazing personally yeah had some great mountain moments yeah. absolutely amazing doing glencoe challenge for the third time in the toughest conditions mm. you know getting a decent time i was happy with that yeah no yeah <laughs> doing, doing, great. Half, doing half the glencoe challenge i think was a big experience <laughs> Then, I, I, um, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, it's fine. Sorry, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll have to always have some sort of yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, I know we're this afternoon. We wanted to show the charity dunk. So, is, oh, yeah. is, a, is a few? Um, we've had a few tech issues with the video. So, what we're going to do because we were, we wanted to show it on the live. It's with the tech that we've got. We can't unfortunately show it. It's um, it's too big a file. What I'll, what we'll do is we will upload it to the Facebook page and in the group separate to this so you can watch your heart's content around um how we fared last week but um just to not keep you hanging on even longer it, we were successful it was great yeah you know we managed to um achieve what we wanted which was because of the donations that came in 
um, which was amazing. Um, you know, the challenge was to stay in there for 15 minutes. And it was epic, like, it was definitely the coldest we've had yeah. because of the cold weather. Uh, we had a little temperature gauge, which was built into a little duck. Uh, you'll see on the video. Um, and yeah, it shows us five degrees, so pretty cold water. Um, and yeah, we managed to do the, the 15 minutes, didn't we? Yeah. We, we, we? We did it, and it was definitely a challenge. I think we came out, and yeah, I, I, it took us a while to find our... No, yeah, I still still, yeah. Don't, still don't know where my testicles are. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. Don't really need them. Okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, some of us like them but um <laughs> yeah no it was Brilliant. um yeah it was a, it was a, it was a challenge yeah i think i do still feel like i've got unfinished business with the pool in brecon but given that it was solid ice at the time would have been difficult to kind of get in yeah you know you just yeah. more, more been sat on the top <laughs> sort of buddha like <laughs> yeah um but but i can assure you the taff was cold it was cold how cold was your little rubber duck that's not a euphemism. He's got he's got a little rubber duck that he uses to measure the water temperature. Wow, Dave. Wow. Um, yeah, it was five degrees. It, it was enough to, yeah, make everything go in, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and it was certainly a challenge. Uh, and we, but we did it, and you know we're very proud to do it. Um, it was certainly challenging. Anything longer than fifteen minutes in that temperature is, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's borderline dangerous. So uh, yeah, mm. and it was because there were there's so many weather warnings. Um, you know, we were advised. Uh, medical professionals and uh, the people uh, Brecon Mountain Rescue even uh, we, we were raising money for them we didn't want to put ourselves into an even more dangerous situation so we were advised to do it in the TAF instead of the River TAF um, in, in South Wales um, that does come from the mountains um, instead of doing it uh, up uh, in, in Penavan which it would have been a little bit colder um, I had to go and test out the waters though just to check the day after uh, and I can confirm it was cold <laughs> it mm. was very cold uh, well, up there. I actually heard John wants to um, do a dunk on Sunday morning. Does he? Yeah, yeah. Oh. He said he, he was really, really Why keen John? Um, to meet us at uh, Penavan Sunday morning and, yeah. and jump in the pool. He was telling me earlier, he said he was really pleased about it. He said <laughs> he saw us get in the water. I'm sensing. He, no, he told us, he said, he said, Dave, I saw you and Andy get in the water and I've never <laughs> been more jealous to get in my pants with you guys. Wow. Um, let's do it on Sunday morning and then go for like a breakfast afterwards. So, John, yeah, if you're up for that, John, mate, we'll there we do go. It. We'll you're do in. It. And yeah, we'll do it. Well, you know me. I love the cold water. Yeah. It's great. It's perfect. Uh, no, it is. Yeah, John, love to see you. Be good to see you, mate. Yeah. And, uh, and also, John, you could have saved money on your vasectomy by coming in and doing it with us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Poor John. <laughs> He's going to kill you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Why across there? Someone over be watching your hair. You call the great bald yeti, John. Yeah, can't get away with excuses like that. You, you use a better excuse. That's fine. Um, Joel, meeting you guys at Kesey Mountain Festival, turning point for me personally. You had a great crack, mate. Yeah, it was great, to, great to see you. And yeah, sorry about your um, the marriage after twenty five years, mate. But you know these these there's parts of life, and you know at least you know you, you've you've got an, uh, an opportunity to get out there. And the mountains spoke to you, I, I'm sure, mate. And you sound like you had some awesome experience. But Joel, mate, yeah. Um, you want to chat about that afterwards we're happy to chat and anything like that mate but good on you you know any anyone that makes a decision like that i mean obviously you'll know if it's the right decision or not but uh joel well done mate um change is always hard but if you do it for the right reasons mate and it, it, it you know it's for you then then great stuff I, it's like a similar thing when i am um, for many many years i i stuck with the main double tans um, <laughs> and i thought they were right for me and then one day i was on the mountain and i thought yeah they're just too tight my feet are sore really yeah and i made the call god you know, and i made the call on the um i feel like me tuesday tune in yeah all the exactly well, don't get me wrong i do love the <laughs> i'll joking. always be fond of the pecans <laughs> but um but yeah after a while you know you've just got to come to these conclusions yeah yeah well at least joel had bingo so that's good yeah you have to get yeah. him in right that's <laughs> yeah. him. We, uh, we we should definitely play. Talking about bingo, we we got our uh, Evertrek uh, Christmas party tonight, and um, yeah. So anyone got a Cardiff bingo bingo lingo? Take take a wide berth. That what it's called? Uh, yeah, bingo lingo. I've never played it before, but um, yeah, it's our own. It's a, it's another form of bingo. I'll, I'll let you know we get on. We should do our own version on the Tuesday Tuesday, shouldn't we? A bingo, bingo lingo. Yeah, that'd be quite funny. Yeah, I'd be up for bingo lingo. Maybe it'd be Tuesday, next year. I did. Who knows? I remember my idea to do a twenty-four hour Tuesday tune-in. Wow. 
for charity um oh. maybe the, yeah we could we could do something and, like uh, we we get the, we get you guys to set us challenges I was say, people have lives during... the, the 24 hours they don't <laughs> they love the tuesday tune-in <laughs> but what i'm thinking is 24-hour tuesday tune-in okay. we'll get ever trackers to come to the office and guest present with us okay wow. any viewers can set us challenges and stuff like that and we'll have a running total we want to, say, we want to raise a thousand pounds in 24 hours Bri will be on here he's going to get some crazy challenges and it probably involves a beer yeah, well, well, so Bri, from come from um, where's Bri live? Essex, that sort of thing. Uh, deep South. The deep South, yeah. It's come from Deep, deep South. Coast. Coast. <laughs> yeah, deep, deep South. Coast, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to have a chat. We're going to raise a pain in 24 hours. All right, for, let's uh, do it. All right, all right, you've heard it here first. Um, yeah. We're going to do a 24 hour live. So if being late on a Friday uh, isn't uh, enough, then you can have a whole 24 hours instead of just an hour. This should be interesting. Yeah, yeah. And all right. Sounds fun. I think we should have a watershed where maybe like after seven I can swear because going from like say seven in the morning till seven at night without swearing is going to be difficult. All we'll have is we'll have a beep button. If you feel like you're going to swear, press the beep. Press the beep. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. That'd be fun. Maybe we could get Zach. Can he do beeps in real yeah, time? He can do beeps. He can do yeah. beeps. He, he, can, he can get the beeps. Um, no, that'd be great. But uh, honestly, it has been an amazing, uh, an amazing experience uh, this year. And another thing as well, obviously, and this is quite recent, is that we we wanted to open up investment um, in Evertrack, uh, and especially the community. Um, and we hit our target, uh, was it a couple of days ago now? Uh, obviously we've been traveling the last couple of days, um, but we got back and yeah, it's absolutely amazing, like hitting 100% of our um, crowdfunding target, um, which does mean, you know, the whole reason we're doing it is to uh, develop the business even further. Um, you know, obviously create more trips, develop our internal systems, um, you know, develop the app, develop um, you know some community uh, events here in the uk so yeah we're very excited now that um, obviously once that'll be closing soon um always and we have to say whenever we're talking about it obviously capital at risk i've written it down um, you literally have <laughs> oh, that, that, is so funny. <laughs> that is brilliant um i know the cedars guys will be very proud of it because uh, yeah i had a catch up with them this morning and they're very happy with us because uh, yeah it's a a mad time for investments in the uk apparently um yeah, obviously a lot of businesses you know i know we're not a startup we've been going for a long time but they source um uh, some investment some people do it from you know from as a startup some people do it and you know they've been going for like seven to ten years um it's great for us to be able to do it because we've obviously got goals to um to bring more to the community to develop evertrack even more um so for us it was just great to hit that target a couple of days ago so thank you to everyone that's invested in that um you know there are still a few days left uh, before we do officially close obviously so even though we've hit 100 percent um you know they call it overfunding, which means that we have the more we raise obviously that means that we that, you know the more impact we can have uh, the more things we can do with uh, obviously um you know that cash obviously going through the business which which helps a lot um and, and this is where i would be saying uh to any to any of the 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 yeti that would be um put okay, in the so comments the on here up. i'm literally gonna have to do it so here we go. I'm going to pop the link. Yeah, um, I know. I know it's Lauren disappeared very soon after we mentioned <laughs> being, on the, being on the comments. Is yeah. that what it was? There right. we are. I put the link in if anyone does want to um, still have, hasn't invested in this yet. I say that it is very limited time if you do want to do that um, before next week. So yeah, if you so, if you haven't done it yet and you do want to, it'd be great to have you on as an investor. I have a question on the Tuesday tune in slash Friday feature wow, on Friday. Oh, okay. Are we, are we, have we got the video? Sorry. No, unfortunately not. No. I know, I know, I, I really want to. I mean, the thing is, I have got a, like, I'll give you a bit of a teaser. I'm going to bring in, it's a little bit pixelated. It might be different on the stream. What mm. I'll do is, because essentially it's been to do with the compression of the video. It's, it's only about seven minutes long. What we'll do is we will post it on the, the page. I'm going to bring it in and see if it will work. Mm. You can, there might be some swearing on this. Just going to put that out there. Um, don't forget, we're going into freezing cold water here and the body reacts in many different ways. Who One of them was it Vicky? She swore. She's probably, you? she's always quite big. She's always quite sweary. She maybe is, it's, yeah. maybe it's Zach. Zach always swears. Absolutely not, Jane. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> I've never heard it in my life. Um, I never. I don't think I ever will. Right. When the, when this plays, you won't be able to hear us. I, if it uh, if it is a bit dodgy and it's not working, I will not play it and I will take it off. So I'm just going to show it and see if it works. Let's see how it goes. Look at the pixels. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. One, two, three, go. I can't. I'm going to build up. Wait, wait, wait. 
I'm trying to build up there. Wait. I promise. Wait. 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 Just give me a second and I'll sit down. Woo! Wait. Fine now. Fine. Wait. 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 I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Wait. 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 Oh, six degrees! Wow! Wow! How does it feel, Anne? Talk us through it. No, it's cold. Six degrees. I'm going to need rubber jockey. Keep your arms out. Well done, Zach. Well done, mate. Well, that's one minute, guys. That's a whole minute. You're doing so good. Deep breaths. Wow. I said the first like 30 seconds a minute is, is the worst thing. Yeah. God's sake! <laughs> oh, fine. Is there anything in oh, you don't even do that? Two and a half minutes, that is guys. That's two and a half minutes. Well done. Can you just tell us when it's like slow your people. I feel like Zach should come out. Yeah, Zach, you got it's up to you. You've got 20 seconds. You've got 20 seconds, it's up to you. Amazing. Four minutes. We've done four minutes. Well done, guys. Four minutes. Yeah, off the bat, Zach. That's amazing. Well done. Ah. <laughs> I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Right, yeah. Ten seconds. Nearly up to five minutes, up to five. almost at five, five which minutes. is a great time to come out. Yeah, that's, yeah, I think I'll come out that's a third of our whole that's time, so minutes. two and uh, one, and that's five minutes, guys. Five, five, five minutes. I'm going. Break, Zach, break. You've done so good. Well done. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Oh, my God. The things you do for charity. Yeah? <laughs> good boys, good boys. Well, Come and work at Evertrek, they said, years. Zach. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> Why? Thank you so much. Space to spend a Friday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that. Get yourself warm, Zach. Get yourself warm. Well done. Yeah, warm, well done. Okay, right, to everyone on, who's watching the Tuesday Tune About, thank you so much for donating to Breckham Out Rescue. Absolutely amazing. I can't believe we're over at like a grand now, which is like unbelievable. So thank you so much. It does mean. I might have to stay in here 50 minutes there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Well done, guys. Well done. This is amazing. Oh, and thank if you, you so much this, for donating. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have just donated it. <laughs> but if you are watching, the, the link is still here. If you still want to donate, still donate. We'll, we'll keep the link, the link live, the yeah. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, clearly. We're going to do uh, one charity thing every year, so the Yeti Ute Yuletide Challenge. So who knows what, we, what we'll be doing next year? Comment next with year, our suggestions. Send your suggestions in, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you're doing so well. You're, you're, you're three, two, and one. Yeah. That's eight minutes, by the way, so okay, if you're minutes. ready... Yeah. You're going to do gonna two, gonna two more minutes, ten. girls. That's amazing. That is amazing. It's okay. When, when do I mean I'm all right? You've got the nipples in. Go on in. Don't get the nipples in. Yeah, that was a that was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's cold on the nips. It's definitely warm. I can feel that. Chain. They're gonna rub. <laughs> I can't get back up now because okay, I've got. Okay, okay, okay. So Dave, okay. whilst we're here. Okay, you're doing good, girls. You're doing oh, so you good. I did. Second Chico. time's a charm. Well done, mate. Well done. And Zach. Well done, Zach. Second Chico. two pass on it. Woo. Fantastic, mate. Fantastic. Are we at nine? <laughs> okay. How you feeling, Zach? 30 seconds, guys. You've got 30, 30 seconds. seconds. You can do this, girls. Zach, have this. Nice. Rubber ducky, or the, it's, it's not super there, warm, but I the there's some warmth in it. Right? <laughs> yeah, I felt way, way and warmer in here. Uh, you got five it's seconds. Insane how much warmer the water is. Three, two, and one. That's ten. And you're guys. done. Ten minutes. Oh. Woo! Amazing. Wow, that's done five, so that's good. Five. Well done, girls. Five. Well done. I don't know. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Well done. Guys, I, I gotta throw this 
I'm going to aim for that basket. Watch it. How's it feeling? It described to me how your feet are feeling. Start, uh, let's start the toes. How are your toes? G- genuinely, I can't feel them. Um, <laughs> we'll go over a bit, mate. We'll go over. I can't feel... Um, <laughs> Don't fall over, don't fall over. The current is a bit strong. Don't get taken down the river. I really like the current because um, it's like a jet wash for your body. (laughs) Is that what it is? Yeah, it's like a jet wash. It's not exactly a hot tub though, is it, or jacuzzi? It's not not exactly, no. I mean, I have been warmer, for instance, when it was minus 25 and 70 mile air winds on Tupacal. Does that seem like that was like a a picnic in the park? Yeah. Well done, Dave. Yeah, I bet people will be wondering as well why we're in the TAF, but it was a little bit um, on the advice of the professionals. We've been advised not to do it at the mountains today. It would have been a, a lot colder than this, so... Yeah, and at least... Trust me, this is cold. At least an airway <laughs> drive to the nearest hospital, so we thought the TAF would be better. Right, gave us 11 You've smashed 11 minutes. Yeah, 11 and a half, guys. You've got three and a half minutes left. Don't forget, donate. The link is there if you want to donate. Go for it. We've raised a thousand pounds. What can we raise? Fantastic. Shit. I slipped and my arm went in for <laughs> oh, <it's really> cool. <laughs> Dripping arm. My arm went in. Really cold. <laughs> Three. Two, this current uh, feels like one. it's getting strong. It does look strong. In. <gasps> he's in! He's oh, in. Dave, stop <laughs> it! Stop 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 it! <laughs> okay, we're coming up on 40 seconds left, Dave. 40 seconds left. Well done, guys. Nailing it. I know, you're doing so seconds. well. Almost at. Here's the train coming past, Dave. Wave going to off the train. The Woo! <laughs> right, we're coming up. We've got uh, 25 seconds, Dave. 25 seconds. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 Okay, Dave, we got 10 seconds, mate. 10 seconds. Here we go. 10 seconds. Let's have a countdown. 5, 10, 4, <laughs> nine, <laughs> 2, and 1. There we go. 15 minutes. You're done. 15 minutes. <laughs> oh my god, stop it. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Oh, I know what you mean though, I can't... Smashed it guys, well done. Drop well done. Wow, that is cold. <laughs> that is actually really cold. Get yourselves warm guys, well done. Well done, you smashed it. Wow Dave, that it's was awesome. very Sorry, interesting. It? Sorry guys, yeah, we um we couldn't see the chat then, so if anyone was... Uh, was... <laughs> Uh, apologies on the quality of that. That was the best we can do just to show you how it went. It's quite pixelated. The unpixelated version, if you want to see it, yeah. we'll upload it. Upload it. Upload it. Upload it. Upload it. Um, upload it in um, uh, in the group so everyone can see. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, guys. It's so we are the suffering, the singing. Oh, I know. It's uh, it's, it's, it's all about the singing. It keeps you going. It keeps you warm. Man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um honestly it's uh it, it was good it was it was it was quite tough but you know we did it mate 15 minutes it I was um, but the team, team so did well. weak and then james i brought him up to be a musician <laughs> yeah no, he like, is not weak he is so strong like to do that he didn't do any training yeah, in our five de- minutes in, our de- in mine and zach's defense as well you just yeah. come back from two thousand 24 hours ago we were, before we were in morocco <laughs> 24 <laughs> hours before that yeah, we were in minus twenty-five with seventy mile an hour gusts of wind, That's true. freezing us to the bone. Yeah. And then, as we landed, we got the signal on our phones, and it was all you guys talking about the cold. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, honestly, well done I, I, you, to, to come and do that. Like, yeah, you guys haven't really done much training. Like, I, I've been doing training. Like, the girls have. The girls did fantastic. You know, just to put it in context, I think the first time the girls did it, they managed about a minute and a half or two minutes and they got mm. 10 minutes which is like an awesome achievement because it's really hard um you know i've been i, I in, in in total transparency i've been doing the cold water stuff for, for quite a long time uh in and out so for me it's um i, I like it in a sadistic way uh, but it's, it is really good for you and, and there's lots of research done on, on cold water therapy mm. um, definitely have a read about it um i think i'm just a natural talent for it it's a natural talent yeah 
Or just get in. You just get in, sit down. Could be long enough to sit down, though, doesn't it? I can't sit down straight away. <laughs> so I was looking at it thinking, well, that's 20 seconds there, Dave. <laughs> right. It's really hard because I can't breathe. It, it, it does take your breath away. I have to wait yeah. until I can breathe. If I sit down, I'm worried that I won't be able to breathe at all. Breathe it out, breathe it out. But yeah. big thanks as well to, um, to Dares Lally. Um, does a lot of fundraising and work uh, for different charities. Um, obviously, you know, really great guy and has, has guided us and been doing, um, you know, a lot of advice and things on cold water therapy and all that. And uh, it's, it's been great to uh, share a lot of his time as well for the team. So thanks, big thanks to Dad. Wherever he may be, he might be on Penavan today. He's literally at Penavan pretty much every day um, because he, he lives in Brecon Beacon. He's such a, such a lucky, lucky mm. guy. But no, lovely guy. And um, also as well, he's looking at going either to Killy or Everest with a team to raise money for 10 of us. So yeah, can't wait to have Dez on the trail. Not 10 of us. No, there's 10 of us, the charity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which was actually, I found that was started because there were 10 people and they said, well, there's 10 of us. Pretty good. Isn't that awesome? Pretty good, yeah. Charity in Cardiff. There's literally 10 guys in Cardiff. Business club. And yeah. And started it, um, I think it was uh, pre-World War II. It's been around a while. Um, right, yeah. So Dave, right, finish off then, really, because I think we've, we've gone through... 2022 we talked about the charity stuff yeah um i know yourself it was you, know, you wanted to bring in especially around the two cal one the two cal two mm. i think we've touched on that the success of it mm -hmm. i think let's, let's, let's look forward then i mean what, what, what's 2023 going in store for us i know it's, it's it's a big milestone for you you're gonna climb some mountains 40 40 big one. So i'm yeah. 40 in may so i'm gonna i don't know when but i'm gonna head over to nepal yeah um tupacal has really kick-started the uh the physical training so i'm gonna shed quite a lot of uh poundage i think how did and i'm gonna the card it. i think low boucher <laughs> east okay is on the card nice the next year in the spring yeah mera in the autumn mm, yeah i think Hagua then in the following in the january. january and then who knows eh? and then i might i might <laughs> be looking north then nice you can see what's going on amazing yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a great year isn't it i know we've got a lot of we've got some new trips um obviously we're, we'll be releasing very very soon in the new year um uh, one of them uh, being Tour de Mont Blanc. i'm really excited about that mm -hmm. um we've got a really good team that we've been sort of nurturing and working with um in uh, italy um so yeah we're based in italy and yeah and also we'll be working on um Mont Blanc summit as well so we know there's a lot of chat around the community about it at the moment um but I think before we get to 2023, I think Paula put it right there. We do want to wish everyone an awesome Christmas, a very Merry Christmas, and obviously a great New Year. You know, whatever you're doing, that's for all of our ever trackers, all of the Yetis, everyone who's followed and be part of the journey with us. You know, it's um, Christmas is a great time, isn't it? For, for family, for friends, for mince pies, for beers, for stockings, whatever, you know, whatever presents, all the stuff that comes with it. Um, so I hope you guys have an, an amazing time, um, you know, before you. The work starts in January for, for, for your next challenge. Yep. I know there's a lot of you on here now. They've got a lot of trips booked in next year. Um, anything you need from, from us Yetis in the new year, obviously don't forget to drop those in um, because we're, you know, we're, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you and those um, journeys. Obviously, where, you know, it's been a great year. It's been an amazing year, but we're going to have a couple of weeks now just so we can relax and um, uh, recuperate before, um, you know, the big year starts again. 2023 is looking just as big for us. Um, which is fantastic. Um, you've got a lot of new things we're bringing in. Yeah, some exciting things as well that we're bringing in. But um, very, very excited to um, obviously have an awesome 2023. Yeah. Well, Dave, any any final thoughts on you? Sorry, I know we've talked about. Uh, no, Merry Christmas. Yeah. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> is that I want to wish you a oh, Merry Christmas a, from the bottom of my heart. Feliz Navidad. Navidad. Very good. I feel like we. I feel like we need. To it's, the be, it's the best Christmas song. It is a good one, isn't it? Yeah. It, it certainly came into it on the. Uh, I, I'm not one of these fairy tale of New York people. Uh, it's a I, good I song, it. but it's not the best. Yeah. Feliz Navidad is the best. I was talking with Ellie about it this morning on the way to school, and she um, it's Feliz Navidad is definitely her. Yeah. Her I also got like Bob Dylan must be Santa. It's quite a fun I one. I like that one, didn't you? Yeah, I know the last few years. Yeah, it's, it's come into good, it. It's good track. Yeah, it's good track. Well, whatever you're listening to, whatever um, you know happens over the, the Christmas period, um, you know, thanks for everything. Enjoy yourselves. Um, I'm sure there'll be some adventures over the Christmas period. Keep safe in the cold weather. It's yeah. very fresh and snowy and awesome here in the UK, isn't it, at the moment? I mean, it's, yeah, I can't wait to, to get out into the mountains and, and do some trekking and climbing. But stay safe, as always. Yeah. 
um, you know, and have an awesome time. Share your pictures about your journey. Great to see how you're getting on over Christmas. But uh, uh, we'll, we'll be back with you guys in the new year. So, yeah. Merry Christmas, guys. We'll Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> see you guys. Santa Claus is coming to town.